All right, all right, all right. Welcome once again to Obina Show Live. Yes, I'm bringing you some exclusive straight out of Uganda. Motivational conversation, inspirational conversations, and like always, sometimes intriguing conversations. This one I'm about to have yet another motivational and inspirational conversation. There's a strange way that God has been working in my late. I've just been having a lot of fasts and I've been having a lot of blessings that I don't know. I came to Uganda to do a tour with the Ugandan consulate, came to the restaurant, I bump into Palazzo. Before I know it, Obina Show Live is happening. And guess who I'm hosting on this one? Weasel. I would never have imagined in my whole career that this would happen. I've been his fan for the longest time, since I was a young boy. And then I came to Nairobi, hustling in the street. And then somehow, there's a song that they did that was very huge in my life. It's called Talk and Talk. And we're about to talk about it. Weasel Manizo. Yo, yo, yo. How are you up, doing, up, G? Everything is good. Everything is fine. We're just chilling. Everything is good. Pleasure yeah, to meet really, you. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Blessings. I've I've been a big fan of you for a long time. And when you and Radio were together, it was also another magical thing. Yeah, man. And you influenced my life in certain ways that you have no idea. So let me start by giving you flowers, all right? So when you guys, okay, when I bumped into Talk and Talk, I don't know when you released it. That time I was going through a career phase and I had a show on radio. Mm -hmm. And my mates, we were a bunch of comedians and I was the one, only one who was the best performer and I got a chance to get a job on radio. They started laughing at me that I was doing a show at night when people are sleeping. Oh, wait. <laughs> and that time... Talk and talk was big, and bro, I used to bump it in the house. This would be your anthem. Bro, in that jam. Yeah, same with us, same with us. Uh, but yeah. at that time, we were just starting uh, with radio, okay. and we, we are getting a lot of resistance. Ah. Yeah, so that's why we came up with that uh, song, Talk and Talk. We had a lot of resistance. So same story, same different story. island. Yeah. yeah. Bro, that jam. They will talk and talk and talk, we do the work. <laughs> and then... What I want to say, I'll ask you guys when I meet you, but now I'm meeting you now, so I'll ask you when it ends. I don't understand what they say, Holy Swade, Holy Swade. What do you guys say there? Um, because, uh, yeah. because the Almighty, like, let me hand it over, all the issues and problems, let me hand them over to the Almighty. Come be quasi, Come be quasi. Yeah, let me be using that as my slogan to landing yours over to Kami the almighty Kwasi almighty yeah. bro that song changed my life it used my, my my motivation my anthem my motor I was like they will talk but i will do the work even in my career now i see i mean well but not everybody thinks you mean well and they talk and i'm like you just talk but i will still do what i intend and to they're do they're still talking while you're doing the and work. they're still talking while you're doing the work they're just talking and talk, talk is cheap talk is yeah. cheap everybody can talk it doesn't parent that's true yeah. that's true so thank you for that song yes. that song and then the video you guys are the chopper now you are in in a yacht in a speedboat and then you're in a motorbikes and i was just like these guys are living the life i want to live <laughs> <laughs> and then now i'm living that life i'm like okay i i didn't see it come this <laughs> far to it. yeah but thank you yeah, and also radio isn't here but i know he's watching yeah, and i used to wear a lot of shambalas in my hand because he used to do the same yeah i used to have a lot of uh, i uh, did the same and i was like yo and i used to see and then the song he did for why you gave me wrong why number you gave me wrong Every let day you, you change number ah! i can let you my go. nigga i love you so oh, hey i got a lot love, love you so hey that's it there's a way you start flowing in that jam. There's a way. Can't let the water be love me, baby. Hey. Can't let you go, you drive me crazy. crazy. Don't you know me missing you, the baby. baby? I'm your man, I call <laughs> you my lady. Hey, <laughs> bro, those two jams yeah. can't let you go. And then even they can't let you go, the beat. There's a way the beat, the flow, it flows. And then you come through and you guys are complimenting each other, bro. That's you guys. That's for the cool talent, maybe that's for the cool talent. You guys made my childhood and my young adult life easier. Yeah, man. Thank you. I'm just starting with that one. Blessings, blessings. Have you been, though? I've been good. I've been very good. I've been kind of busy. Yeah. You know, I've been, uh, I had a concert. Uh, I saw it. It was massive, last bro. Weekend. Yeah. I had a concert, Memories of Good Life. Uh, I was taking uh, our fans back those old days. Uh, yeah. Our music those days. And I was kind of busy, but I've been so fine. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything Big. is popping out. Everything is yeah. popping. Yeah. Now you are, I think you're the biggest in, in Uganda now. Ah, not the biggest. I'm one of the biggest. One of the biggest. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's family. Wish me it's you. 
Palazzo. When you say I'm the biggest, Joseph. I'll get bewitched. <laughs> 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 oh really? Yeah. They do that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, ah. these lights can go off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was that serious. Yeah, don't joke here. Yo, I was in northern Uganda. We were doing a tour, mm. and they were walking with a small boy. And everywhere we were performing, it was not raining. We finish, it pours like crazy. Yeah, then they, they told me this here. boy. They do it here. Uh, so when you have serious. a concert, you have to uh, send for that boy. And if you don't send for him, he, you don't. Ah, uh -uh, he makes you send for him by force. Oh. He gives you sample. They call it Jaribu. Eh? <laughs> gives you Jaribu, and one of his, one of his business, uh, one of his business guys comes and talks to you. There's this boy. He has to talk to you. He gives you Jaribu, and you have to pay. Oh, wow! So they sample your show. Yeah, yeah. They sample you, and you have to look for him. Okay, yeah. Ugandans, you win. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you win, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't sample me. Born winners. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so there is a concert I saw in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Whose concert was it? The one that they were setting up the set stage. Then Wild Wind was coming, and then spoiling everything. They set up again. It was a concert. Was it Chameleon? Chameleon it was Chameleon, right? When that stage broke down. So that was also sampling. Yeah, they were sampling him. <laughs> <laughs> they don't joke here, my friend. They sample you. You even shift that day to another day. <laughs> Have they sampled you like that? I me, I'm, I'm unsampleable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bad man. I am the witch myself. <laughs> so you can't bewitch the witch. <laughs> I saw them saying um, uh, in Uganda, there's a lot of evil power that artists use to be big. Mm. Do you have such power? Uh, me, I don't have such powers. Me, uh, people who use such powers <laughs> are not talented. Oh. Yeah, but Michael Jackson, why do you need such powers when you're talented like Michael Jackson? When you're talented <clears throat> like Wizkid, who yeah. needs powers? People who use powers may be uh, weak, really curly, or even... So they have to use such uh, uh, other powers, but... Ours is uh, we you are is just there. It's just talent. You need Rasta man. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire, fire, fire. Fire upon the place. Yeah. Fire upon the place. Oh wow. Well, oh, so now I'm in Uganda. I know about the powers that people use and the talents. All right. We move with it. Your music has been doing amazing, bro. Your concert was mm. crazy. Yeah, How many yeah. people were those? I don't even know. I lost count. But more than ten thousand, I was told. I'm, oh wow! I lost count, but it was massive. All I can say. And you just people chilled sure like you didn't have over ten thousand people in your concert less than a week ago. <laughs> and you just chill like it. me right now. You I would not be that. seated right here. <laughs> I, we're so used to it, and uh, we're so used to our fans uh, showing us love like that. So we just so used to it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. If you've forgotten how many people came. Let's talk money. <laughs> How much money? <laughs> How much did we make? <laughs> Remember, I use the word we. We. Because I ain't living this show with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we made enough. The yeah. dress code. The dress code. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. Imported local. Uh, it is local. It's handmade, yeah. I had him mention the name of the guy who did it. I called Ronnie Guns. He's so talented. It's a very big Ooh, that uh, attire looked like it's straight from... Uh, Marty Lawrence movie, the one for the night. It's called something night. Mm -hmm. The way it was dressed on it. Were you comfortable in that cloth? No, I won't <laughs> lie. <laughs> it was too heavy on me. Also, like, uh, I got to a time when I had to take it off. Yeah. It was heavy, like, the breathing. <laughs> uh, uh, it was uncomfortable. But it's it like a corset. Then, then, you know, you walk you like a robot. Walk. <laughs> Who came up with the idea of that cloth, though? Uh, Ronnie Gans is like uh, one of the designers who works with most of the Ugandan artists here when they have big shows. Yeah. So when you have a big show, you don't even have to call him. He's the one who calls he you. He calls you, bro, yeah. I have an idea. What's up, what's up, what's up. Yeah. That's what it does. You didn't try the cloth before the show? No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I saw it 10 minutes before the show. Because <laughs> he got at the venue late, so okay. I saw it 10 minutes. You're like, oh, that's a cloth. Oh, that's all right, the, all right. Will it fit? What if it doesn't? <laughs> yeah. But uh, finally. But now you know better. 
So next time, uh, dry the cloth first. Before, one week before. <laughs> So the time you're walking on stage with that attire, that was the first time you have it on? The first time. And in your head, you're like, okay. No. What the hell? What am I going to do with this? <laughs> You've been breathing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you just rushed him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. <clears throat> but that concert is, is, a, is a talk of town. I came to town and everybody's like, yo, this was happening. Yeah, it was Everybody, it was a public holiday. It was public. <laughs> yeah. How many artists graced your stage? So, so many, so many, <coughs> yeah. so, so many. I can't even count. Because everyone was there. Yeah. The, uh, one, uh, everyone was there. Yeah. Yo, Abebe Kool was in, in town, is in South Africa. Yeah. Chameleon, Palace. Everyone was there. Yeah. yeah. Because, because um, you're like the godfather. A lot of people no, look I'm at you like. I'm just so friendly to everyone. Yeah. Like everyone is my friend. So. If I call out to any artist to support, everybody shows they up. Pull up. Yeah. They I'm pull up. I'm good to them. Yeah. Yeah. When I take a, uh, them for shows, I don't, I don't run away with their money. <laughs> I pay on time. <laughs> <laughs> I was interviewing Apus earlier today. Yeah. And uh, he said he couldn't make it because his dad was in town. Mm. He's, he's trying to, his dad, I think he's diabetic or something. Mm. So he couldn't, but he really wanted to come. But he was always telling me how the show was massive yeah, and everybody was, was brother, there. Like a brother to me. So if I didn't come, I had a, an issue like... Uh, or no, the out of town or yeah, something. Yeah, out of town, out of uh, Kampala or somebody's sick. Yeah. Yeah, but everybody wouldn't fail to come. Yeah. yeah. All righty, all righty, all righty. People still love you. People still celebrate you. However... Uh, initially, people had known you with with radio, yeah. and then when we lost radio, uh, you said you'll never do music again as a solo artist. Uh, I'm doing music. I even have new songs, but with uh, collaborating like or maybe a duo like we used to uh, with Radio and uh, Weasel. No, yeah, I don't find anyone so talented like Radio, so we can yeah. come together. Yeah. So I rather hustle alone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I know you, <clears throat> you gotta rush to uh, some other engagement. Mm -hmm. I want to take you quick back to through the journey of some of the greatest hits you've done mm -hmm. and some of the lessons you've learned. Because there's a couple of artists who are watching, and it'll be great for them also to learn from you. They just know, ah, mm -hmm. uh, Manizo said this one, let me learn from this. Mm -hmm. But a little bit before I get into that, let me talk to my people about three things, real quick. One, Get your tickets. We're doing a tour around the country. We're coming through www.madfan.com. Get your ticket. Myself, I'm bringing Eric Komodi with me on the tour. I'm bringing Nameless. I'm bringing Joakali. All the greatest, they're coming through. And I'm not leaving baby behind. Demo Facebook is with me. So get your ticket. We're coming through to, uh, through to your town. About 12 towns. It's going to be amazing. Get your ticket ASAP. Number two, uh, if you want to study production, videography, editing, anything to do with this thing that I'm doing over here, the best place to go to is Goldchild media institute all right the ones you've seen right in front of you are students from gold child media institute it's an institution that teaches people what to do in the media space you want to do videography you want to do photography you want to do anything on this space <laughs> Ini media inataka watu creative creative nini nini umeshika kamera kani kwa umeshikilia kamera nini nini so what are you doing Videography, 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 and photography. Or finally, to change tune, and photography, videography and photography. Apple. Oh, okay. All right. They are all studying the same thing. So, if you want to join, you should consider coming through to Gold Child Media Institute. They're in town, and on this show, Nobina Show Live, we always have once in a while we invite some students from the school to come through and get a glimpse of what goes. What goes on? You can see the the, uh, the lights. A book panel like this. Uh, you can see we have the lights this side. I wish we could pan around so you could see more of the things that are happening behind uh, the scenes. So you need to study all of these things that are happening over here. It's not as easy and also it's not as hard. Okay, it takes a little bit of uh, discipline, a little bit of uh, lessons here and there, the technical know-how. So consider joining Gold Child Media Institute. Could you join Hawa? I'm currently in Uganda, courtesy of the Ugandan consulate. We're going around the country. I want to show you a bit uh, of the videos of the places I've been to so you know that you should also come here and have a good time. And it's very easy and it's very affordable.
In a conversation with Herbert uh, from Uganda, he knows about tourism. I told you guys I'm in Uganda with the Ugandan consulate. We're going around the place. But now, for you to have better information, you have to listen from the expert. If you've always been planning to come to Uganda, you want to come and try, you want to sample the culture, you want to sample anything Uganda, the products they serve, you want to go to the places, you want to come and know Uganda and experience Uganda, he's the guy to go to. Herbert, how are you? I am good. How are you? Well, very good. Um, I've seen you've come with the binoculars. Okay, that's a little bit dramatic, but <laughs> you didn't have to come with this one. I'm advised to know you know about tourism. You could have just pulled up. Come on. No. Hey. Uh, birds are everywhere. So this we're looking at birds. Anytime, if I see something interesting, I look at it. I don't have to stress my mind looking for the binoculars. Our phones have like zoom. No, those like... are just. But just if I find anything now, that I've just seen one wobbler actually down there. So it actually works. It's not like. Very well, it's not for sure. It's what I do. It's my business. I watch birds. So every time I watch birds. Okay. So for now, let's say out of your mind, how many birds do you know? Well, um, probably about 4,000. Wow. Okay. That's also a little bit my domain. I know, but maybe like five, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uganda tourism. <clears throat> I've seen you with the uh, Uganda safaris. It's bird Uganda. B I R D. Bird Uganda safaris. Yes. Okay, so you do birds, but also you know much in the tourism sector. Oh, yeah, I do, of course. I've been here for some time, for about three decades. Ah, you're, you're not from here? I'm from here. I'm born here, I'm here Uganda, but in the tourism business. Ah, oh, oh okay, yeah. okay. So I know more than birds. Okay. It's because you, if you're doing a birding tour, yeah. You can't avoid seeing animals. Okay. You can't avoid interacting with people. Okay. You talk about culture. Okay. Talk about what they eat. Yes. Talk about um, lots of things. Okay. Really. You can't avoid seeing primates, reptiles, butterflies. Yeah. Uh, adventure. All those lots of things. Okay. Yeah. Best place to go to in Uganda if you want to see wild animals. Where is it? The best places, um, depending on the type of wild animals you want to see. Okay. If you're interested in primates. You will can't avoid the forests, Budongo Forest, um, Semliki, okay. Ramagambo, mm -hmm. uh, Mabira Forest. Okay. If you're interested in Savannah, you can't avoid Machon Falls. Okay. You can't avoid the Kidepo National Park. You can't avoid uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth National Park, okay. Lake Mburo. Those are really, really parks. You can't avoid the PN Upe uh, Wildlife Reserve. And that's areas you can find different types of species of, of wildlife. So it depends on the interest. If okay. somebody is interested in nocturnal, you definitely have to do all of them because you will find nocturnal species in the in the in the savanna may be different from the nocturnal you find in the forest. Okay. Oh, so it depends on a number of factors. Okay. Yeah. What is that thing that you feel that uh, most people don't know about Uganda? Because people think Kampala is Uganda, and that's it. Like boom, Kampala. Oh, Kampala. Yes, banana. Good. Done. What is that thing that you feel like? If people would just pay attention to this and this and that, they will know Uganda well. Yeah, you see, the, 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 the one thing people don't realize about Uganda is how you can find things in a very short time. Short distances. Okay. You leave Kampala within three hours, you're in a national park. Lake Mboro, is, you leave Lake Mboro another three hours, you're in Bwindi, it's totally different. You leave Bwindi, before you know it, you're in Queen Elizabeth National Park, you're on Rezori Mountains, you know, you leave... You live high end and drop. You can live 3,000 meters and drop to 600 in within three hours. Oh. And you find Rosary Mountains. It's just, it's a compact area with lots of things. Okay. So you can find over 200 species of mammals. You find about 1,000 species of birds. You, you know, lots of things. Butterflies are just everywhere. Okay. We have over 56 tribes in the country. So if, everywhere you go, you'll find something interesting. Okay. Something is happening. Without, without driving long distances okay. but also uh, what is unique is that we don't get extremes of uh, weather like you find people uh -huh. in 45 degrees Celsius no we don't go there oh. maybe the maximum we can go in uh, some desert areas about about 35 36 okay. in Kidepo but most of the time we just moderate temperatures okay yeah affordability of uh, tours and travel in Uganda we're very, very competitive. Um, we have different types of services. Okay. We have mid-range, uh, high-end, which is actually becoming more popular, okay. uh, making it a premier uh, destination. 
we still have room for uh, you know me, budget uh, negotiation the negotiation where you can say affordability for yeah, okay. yeah but now so something we are going into is uh, uh, structured um, prices for domestic demand uh, it's now being developed and we hope they're going to work on it very quickly okay uh, so that you can afford we can uh, be able to allow to attract people from Kenya Tanzania Uganda okay. and African actually African community okay. to come into Uganda and I know uh, negotiations are very high in advanced stages for visa free destination okay if we achieve that one done yeah what is the procedure like when someone wants to come and tour Uganda where where, where do you start you just uh, show up or it begins with this passion for travel okay. I want to go to a destination where Uganda why Uganda the part of Africa why is the part of Africa then you find out now why would they call it a part of Africa where the uh, the European travelers decided to call it the part of Africa okay. after seeing that Uganda is 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 where all the Okotan zones of Africa meet. Okay. We have a portion of every Okotan zone of Africa. Okotan? Okotan zones. Oh, Okotan zones. Yes. Okay, okay. And then someone has to think about how do I go there? Some people say, others can start with, is it safe? It is safe. Because people come in, in and out. Um, others would think about how do I get there? Okay. Go online. Okay. Visa online. Boom. Visa to Uganda. Just provide online. What can I do in Uganda? What am I interested in? Culture? Are you interested in, in, in butterflies? Are you interested in, in wildlife? Are you interested yeah, in... I'm interested in Nyege Nyege Festival. Nyege Nyege Festival, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you interested in Nyege Nyege yeah. Festival? Yeah. Are you interested in the bungee jumping? Are you yeah. interested in, you know, adventure? In, okay. in, in um, abseiling, rock climbing? Okay. Are you interested in climbing the mountains? Mount Rinzori, uh, Mount Elgon, um, Moroto, all these are around here. Uh, are you interested in the cru water cruises? Lake Victoria, of course, we share a big chunk of it. So, depending on what you want to do, then what type of accommodation do I need to think about? Okay. Am I interested in high end? Okay. Then how am I going to get there? Go online, look for the tour operator. And I'm also honored, yes, I'm also honored to be having a conversation in Uganda with His Excellency Council General. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get the titles right, <laughs> so I don't get deported. <laughs> you know, when when it's matters in fact uh, affecting the government, you have to be very. In fact, the way I'm seated, should. Uh, so I'm honoured <laughs> to be having a conversation in Uganda with His Excellency, Council General, Ambassador Paul. The other name, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other one is Mukumbia. Muku <laughs> that one. Yes. So Mukumbia. Okay, it sounds Luya. Yes. Kind it's of. a Bantu language. Ah, there <laughs> you go. Yes. yes, this ambassador of Uganda. Uh I'm ambassador to Uganda. Huh? Of of Uganda. Of Uganda in Kenya. Not in Kenya for the for the Kenya coast. For the Kenya coast. Oh, oh there's different We have an a mission in Nairobi. Uh -huh. The High Commission, which takes charge of the whole of Kenya. Okay. Then we have a Consulate General in Mombasa, okay. which takes care of the six coastal counties. Okay. Of Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi, Taita, Taveta, Tana River, and Lamu. Okay. And that's you. And that's me. It's an honor, sir. Thank you for creating time. I know you're very busy. And uh, for you to just sit down and have a conversation with an Obina. <laughs> you could have said, what? Who? Obina, what? Obina, why? No, I'm, I'm going to be the president. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank you. And also a few things that I would like to give you your flowers just before we begin. I've engaged with you a bit and you are a nice person. Thank you. You are not uh, full of yourself and your title. I've met other people and you're like, you do realize power is transcendent. You do realize it's the office. You do realize above all you're still a human being but most people don't see that way. But you see that way. You've been kind to us. You are easy going. You laugh. You chill. Thank you very much. Thank you. For okay. being an amazing and upright human being. Thank you. Alright, so now let's talk Uganda. Luombo. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have already tasted one. N not yet, but tomorrow in Jinja. 
it's gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's gonna go down. Sure, sure. I came a, a, a day, two days later, because I had a, a couple of engagements in Nairobi. Mm. But you are there, and Prince Cinder have gone around already. Sure. Where is that side you guys were? Uh, we've been to Mansion Falls. Mansion Falls. Mansion Falls National Park. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that part is that northeast. Okay. Uh, of the country. Okay. Mansion Falls National Park is the biggest national park in Uganda. Okay. Where we have uh, all those animals. Okay. Uh, except the rhino. But before reaching Mansion Falls Park, we stopped over at the Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary. Okay. Where we are trying to to breed and. Uh, bring back the rhinos which had been extinct in Uganda due to poaching uh, during our uh, years of the, our turbulent years okay so we stopped over at the uh, Zua rhino sanctuary before proceeding to Mashon uh, Mashon Falls National Park uh, and uh, we arrived there today is Monday we, yeah. we, we arrived there on Saturday okay uh, then uh, we did yesterday. We we, we we did a game drive. Okay. In Mansion Falls National Park. And then we also in the afternoon did a boat ride on okay. the River Nile, on the Victoria Nile. Oh wow! Where we, oh, we, we <laughs> where we saw the bottom of the aye, aye, aye. the bottom of the of, of the of the Mansion Falls of the Mansion Falls. By the way. The Martian Falls are the strongest falls in the world. Oh, wow. Is it, they are too high? They are Is too strong. Height? Oh. The strongest. Okay. If by luck you fall there. By luck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't define the luck. <laughs> Oh, it can okay. be good luck bad or, or bad luck. Or luck is luck. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> so, yeah. they are the strongest falls in the world. Oh, wow. So, we, we, the, on Saturday, we went to the bottom of the falls on that boat ride. Then this morning, we, we visited the top of the falls. Uh, now, to see where you were the other oh, day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The, that, that's... That's a wonder, a must see. In Kenya, we say, I mean, just give a buyer. We just Yes, just give a buyer. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, see what I missed. So, ah. the, the, the top of the falls, yeah. uh, uh, that's the most exciting. The bottom is not as exciting as the top. Okay. Where you see all this water, finally converging in about, I think, a width of about 10 meters, and then going down. Amazing. So it's really amazing. I hope I you'll find to time to, 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 to... I've just been told I'm not going... To, I'm not going to River Nile. Tomorrow you are going to River Nile. Ah, but good, that's good. in Ninja. That's where the source of the Nile is. Ah. That's where we also have the, the, the water rafting. I hope I will do the rafting. I hope you are adventurous. I will do rafting. I will do zip lining. Uh, what else? I wish you all the best. I will eat luombo. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's what we, we saw Saturday and, and yesterday. Okay. And we returned. We just returned this afternoon. Okay. Uh, okay. And tomorrow we leave for ginger. For ginger. Then yes. after ginger, where else are we going? After ginger, we shall on Wednesday we have uh, a media launch where we are going to interact with the media okay in Kampala okay that's in the morning then have Luombo during lunch mm -hmm. then in the afternoon we shall do a city tour okay we shall visit the the mango the Kabaka's palace in mango oh wow the Kabaka of Uganda yeah I studied that in school you are, now you're going to see to the history see. you studied Big boys in the building. <laughs> then uh, <laughs> we shall also visit the Uganda Matters shrines in Namugongo. Ah. Did you study about that also yep. in your history? Yep. Because the story of the Uganda Matters starts in Mengo, where the Kabaka's palace is. Okay. Okay. Because 
these matters were working in the Kabaka's palace. Okay. Then they got converted. Then they started praying, our Father in heaven. Uh -uh. Okay. Give, Uganda, Uganda is a movie. Thy, thy, <laughs> thy kingdom come. And they're like, which kingdom? Which kingdom that is and not in my Kabaka's kingdom. kingdom. So, so he, he <laughs> that one. <laughs> he sent them to the kingdom before so the kingdom he would He sent come. them to the to the kingdom yeah. so that they leave his kingdom. <laughs> so that is the story, the trail ah. that ends in Namugongo. Ah, so okay. we shall visit that okay. uh, on Wednesday. Okay. Then we, in the evening we shall go to Ndere Center. What's there? What's there is a cultural performance. Uh, and that cultural performance takes you around the whole of Uganda in about two hours, showcasing Uganda's culture. So that's what we shall experience in the evening of Wednesday. I can't wait. You can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm excited. So then on Thursday, yeah. I think we shall do, there is a, a, a chimpanzee sanctuary. Okay. Uh, just about 10 minutes from here, we shall get a boat from here. Okay. Uh, go to Ngamba Island, okay. where there are chimpanzees, which have been, uh, uh, they are not in their natural habitat, so they are, they are kind of in a, in, a, in a controlled environment. Okay. Then we shall also visit the Uganda Wildlife Education Center in Entebbe, and there we shall also have some tilapia. The whole of it. That which now you people, you're talking. That which you people get a bit of it in Mijingo. Ah. <laughs> you know we donated the fish to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of our country, we are very grateful. <laughs> you guys <laughs> saved our lives. <laughs> we, I mean, we were starving. <laughs> so that's the, the kind of yeah. itinerary we are yeah. dealing with. Oh, okay. And uh, we want you to experience uh, these uh, these products, okay. so that uh, you talk about them to the Kenyans. And I wanted to ask you, why why now? Why does Uganda feel that now is the time to tell other people what Uganda has to offer? Because we've only known Uganda for banana and uh, other things, but <laughs> 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 wife material. Yeah, we've been told Uganda is uh, wife material. the other things you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've just been told wife material and banana. And that's it. And then now all of a sudden you're like, oh, we have, oh, we have cheaper, oh, we have baboons, oh, we have falls, oh, we have river Nile, we have, why are you guys feeling like now is the time? It's, 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 now we have actually just amplified it. We, but at least we as the Uganda consulate in Mombasa, yeah. we've been doing this since 2022. Oh. Yes, we started uh, a partnership between Uganda and the Kenya Coast. Okay. Uh, working with the tourism stakeholders, the county and the county governments. So we started this partnership where we are promoting the two destinations together. Okay. That is Uganda and the Kenya Coast. You know, the Kenya Coast has unique products like the beaches. Yes. We always say that we in Uganda also have some beaches. <laughs> did you? Um, you landed at the airport yesterday. <laughs> yes, I did. And on your way to here, I'm sure you saw a number of beaches. Yes, there. I passed a few beaches over there. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have some beaches, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they, are, they are not quite. <laughs> they, they, are, they are not quite comparable to the coastal beaches. So in that area, we don't compete. <laughs> You have, oh you, have <laughs> <laughs> you, you have fought Jesus. <laughs> we don't have fought Jesus, so we are not competing with you on that. <laughs> we, we, we have, you have Vasco da Gama Pira. <laughs> so, so, oh my God. <laughs> so, and yet, us in Uganda, in addition to those beaches, 
We have mountain gorillas. <laughs> so, Dugobina, Dugobina will be fried, son, and she's a gun. We'll be fried, son. So you say you have beaches and mountain gorillas? <laughs> yes, we have some beaches, not quite like the one who's uh, 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 at the Kenya coast. Yeah. We have mountain gorillas. Okay. I know Kenya also has a lot of monkeys, yeah. baboons. We have tumbili. <laughs> but uh, even with evolution, yeah. those monkeys, they are not likely to become mountain gorillas in no, the near future. No, tumbili are easy to So we have the mountain gorillas, we have the chimpanzees, we have the Martian Falls that I've talked about earlier. Yeah. We have the adventure tourism on River Nile where we are going tomorrow. So we have all these products. You can see they are unique. Each destination yeah. has yeah. its unique products. Yeah. So we are saying that why don't we promote these? We interpromote. Yes, each other. cross sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what the the, the 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 those in the tourism trade industry say. Why don't we cross sell? Yeah. So that on the one itinerary, we get inter an international tourist who comes to 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 the Kenya coast. Yeah. Can on the same itinerary come to Uganda? So we say. Beach to the bush or bush to the beach. Okay. <laughs> and that gives a wholesome experience to the tourist. Yeah. But how expensive it is? Because you know sometimes people think that tourism is something that you have to save properly, work and then retire. So when you are retired now at least have a bit of a Well that that's for international tourists. Yeah. But for us, for example, and that was going to be the second ma part of my of my submission. Yeah. So at f f first of all, we are inter in uh, targeting those international tourists. Yeah. But then at the second level, we are targeting our nationals in the two countries. Okay. Kenyans visiting Uganda and Ugandans visiting Kenya. Kenya yeah. And you know, for us you, in Uganda, Kenya is our number one source market oh. for visitors. Oh. Yes, last year about 500,000 Kenyans visited Uganda. Nice. So that is, that is number one. Salute. And then for Kenya, Uganda is the number two source market after the US. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. And last I year, know that. about 250,000 <coughs> Ugandans visited Kenya. Nice. So we want to, to, to grow these numbers. We want to grow the international tourists coming to our region. But we also want to, to, to boost tourism between our two destinations. Yeah. And you know, it is v much easier for a Kenyan to travel to Uganda or for a Ugandan to, visit, to travel to Kenya. Yeah. You don't need a passport. That's true. You only need your national ID. You don't need a visa. And you don't have to fly. Flying is for you. The, 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 <laughs> the middle high end. I mean, I was paid for. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, by the way, on Uganda Airlines, something interesting. Yes. I get to the airport. My manager tells me I'm on business class. Baby, the first time I'm on business class, Uganda Airlines. I was sitting in there. I'm like, do you want anything? I'm like, yes, of, of course. How do you want your egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate on the plane and not biscuit. Kenyan Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> I was given like that whole thing. It's like I'm going to Dubai. And strangely enough, the pilot who flew me down to Uganda was a lady. Wow. And I don't like flying. But this flight was the smoothest I've been in in a minute for that type of plane. Yes. And then when we landed, I had to go and tell her thank you. It was a very smooth plane. And then the male counterpart that they were flying with, the first time I've had a pilot speak. Because most pilots are like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you saying? Just speak. This one was like, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm da da da, and I'm flying with da 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 da. We're gonna be cruising at this, and I could hear. And I even told them, I was like, this has been an amazing flight. Thank you, it's been smooth. I didn't even get my palms sweaty. And then also this other gentleman spoke, and I would hear what Maybe, I was saying. Yeah. And I ate like everything that I like. <laughs> so that's the Uganda Airlines experience. I loved it. Our national I, personally, I loved it. And whenever I fly it, I also <coughs> the, the the flight is so smooth. Yeah. The piloting is so good. It was nice. I loved the it. landing, the takeoff and landing are so smooth. Amazing. So, but the flying is for you the 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 the. the, the 
the high-end travelers. Okay. But every ordinary Ugandan or Kenyan yeah. can travel by road. Yes. On a bus. Yeah. Or they can drive if they, they if they have. You can a car. even walk across the border. You can even walk across the border, and you'll be counted as a visitor. True. So that's why we are promoting golf tourism. Okay. And again, once again, I encourage as many golf Kenyan golfers as possible yeah. to register and join us at the at the golf tournament. So those who want to register for the conference, visit www.thetourismconference.org and register to be part of this experience. Definitely, you don't want to miss this third Uganda Kenya Coast Tourism Conference happening here in Munyonyo, in Kampala, okay. in Uganda. And I look forward to welcoming you at the conference. Thank you very much. Back to the conversation. I'm honored to be hosting one of the greatest, Weasel Manizo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name Weasel. So mm -hmm. first when I, I used to call it where sell. <laughs> okay, I was in the village. <laughs> don't, don't be too hard on me. <laughs> but I never understood why the name Weasel. Because the weasel in, in, in maize, mm. <laughs> you've seen where I'm going. In maize, a weasel is not a, a good, can I call it rodent or a, yeah, why? <laughs> well, maybe I should say I'm a musical rodent. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Answer. <laughs> Finito. <laughs> Kaput. Kaput. Kapish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's why you use the weasel. Yeah, I'm uh, that rodent, dancer rodent. Yeah. I kill on sight. Twice on Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Then the manizo goes with the rhyme. Manizo with the rhyme. Yeah. It rhymes with it. With the manizo, like <laughs> she's a manizo. Yeah, she, yeah. I'm called obizi, obizi manizi. Because I'm, I'm called Obina. Mm. So my nickname is normally Obizi. Obizi then Manizi. Then Otile took it, so he's called Obize. But I'm Obizi. So people, Obizi Manizi. Even Trevor calls me Trevor Mbija. Mm. Obizi Manizi. So yo, Weasel Manizo. Weasel Manizo. Yeah. All righty. Started music uh, as a child or when you're ready? Uh, I started music like, as a child, of course, my dad used to buy uh, those instruments, the pianos, yeah, the guitars, yeah. and then yeah. used to put them there. If you want to learn them, if you don't want, you stick to whatever you want to do. Yeah. So we used to play about, I think as a child, let me say, but uh, <coughs> realizing I can, I can go professional was uh, after school. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's when I started doing it professional. I well, used to go with Camillion to uh, different concerts. Yeah, that's when I started. But okay. yeah, after after school, high school. I spoke with Palazzo and he told me about your escapade, going to the States with him. Mm -hmm. Then you, you were like, ah, this is not for me. You, you came back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So when you came back, that is when you met uh, Radio. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I went to Palazzo to the States. I told him, ah, <clears throat> I'm used to going out and <laughs> I can't flip myself. Burgers. Yeah. I've been riding with big stars and I can't stay here. I'm yeah. going back home. So I left Palazzo there. Uh, when I got back, uh, we used to have, um, what's it called? A live band, live uh, band someplace called Blue Africa. Yeah. And that's where I met Radio. We started uh, singing together on stage and then we did a few songs and it, ex it exploded. Yeah. Things worked out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another song of yours, the two of you that I like is uh, oh. Bread and Butter. Yeah. And then I really, really like your body. body. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love you and I love nobody. nobody. Mm. Without you, I can't stop complaining. complaining. Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah. yeah. What I love about that jam, there's a something that somebody says. I don't know if it's the right words. Mm. Good life, GNL Zamba. Omoana Lureta. Anya Lureta. Oh, uh? Anya, Anya Lureta. Anya Lureta. Who is, what do we, who is like trying to interfere? Who is, hey. yeah, no one is, yes. you know, like I'm bad. I'm bad. Who else? Who else? Yeah. yeah. Good life, GNL Zamba. Anya Lureta. Yeah. Ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. And then there's a vibe. And then you guys just somehow, and then also the lighting and the dancing and the color coding in the video. And you went to do a lot of amazing other songs together. Which yeah. is your favorite track? That you guys did uh, together. My favorite track is Nyumbani. Sometimes I cry because I'm waiting for you. Ah. Hey, Nyumbani, we. Uh -huh. Nyumbani, Rudy Nyumbani. Uh -huh. That's my favorite. 
Oh, nice. And then where you are with Blue 3. I want to be yeah, right where you there. Are. Breath where away. You are. Girl, you take my breath away. Yeah. I have a lot because a lot of yeah. songs. You guys did some... a lot of uh, stuff together. Yeah. Man. The day that uh, we lost uh, radio, were you there? Yeah. You guys? But I wasn't around the same area. Oh, okay. I was in town. Okay. Not the same venue where he lost his life. Okay. Yeah. Found the guys? The guy was taken to prison, right? Yeah, he was taken to prison. Yeah. yeah he was taken to prison. That really messed up your music career. Yeah, it messed up uh, everything because we had, mm -hmm. like, the future was bright. It was really Way bright. Way brighter, bro. Contracts were coming in Nigeria and everything was really looking good. Yeah. And then it, it changes just overnight and yeah. things are different. What, what helped you to get through this phase? Because I'm sure this was a very dark phase. He was like a best friend. A business uh, partner i think uh getting close to friends and people made me uh get over it yeah because uh i first well, well, used to stay uh like home don't go anywhere lock yourself in the house but that you can even commit suicide so uh -huh. i realized uh, uh, what you have to do is stick to your friends when they go out like you found us there eating fish yeah, yeah. sit there talk <laughs> laugh I think my friends healed me. Just with your friends, they know your problem, they take care of you. Yeah. You forget slowly by slowly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, that 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 was that was something. I it was too. The too whole bad. East Africa, myself yeah. included, we were just like man. Uh -uh, we didn't expect it to happen. But, uh -uh, yeah. It was really, it's really bad. Do we know exactly what happened? Because I don't know what exactly happened. Uh, I mean, the different space. stories. Yeah. Different stories. That, that, it's like the death they, of Bruce Lee. Everybody has a version. Yeah, everybody has a version from <clears> here <throat> from there. For, so we fail yeah. to know the truth. Me, I fail to know the truth. Oh, until now, you don't know what really happened. Everyone has a story, so I don't know which story to believe. I just kept it like there and moved on. Okay. Because even if you know, uh, get to know the story, it won't come back, so. Yeah. You have to just get strong and yeah. do your music and True. take care of family and move on. Yeah. yeah. So now you are the sole proprietor for good life. Yeah, yeah. But I have uh, other musicians uh, like I'm trying to uh, bring up. Okay. Yeah. The musicians are still in good life, but we're still putting ourselves back together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I understand that you put your wife as the manager for good life? Yeah, she's, she's on the team. Okay. I have like three other guys that manage. But she's among the team. Yeah. All right, all right. You have a procedure for people joining, or they're just scouting and people do uh, things happen. Ours is, uh, let me say, Rasta way. We do it Rasta way. <laughs> no contract, <laughs> no nothing. Oh, wow. It's just friendship. Rasta Good life way. is functioning without papers and stuff. No papers, no nothing. Just, just. Bro, you, I like your vibe. Let's get in the studio. Yes, what Boom. Love. If you're so talented, you surprise me. You get into the studio, it's nothing, it's, it's, it's nice, bang, we go. No contract, if you are tired, you leave. <laughs> it's easy come, easy go. No contract. <laughs> Why does you get operate like this? <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah, no one signs anyone. Okay, how, how do you pay your people then? How does the money work? Because when money comes in, is now when there's normally a little bit of... Yeah, everyone, we, I told you it's a rust away. If we get a million... <laughs> <laughs> we share it accordingly, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's friendship. Our, our music here is friendship. Yeah, and that's not this friendship, but there's also the business side of it. Yeah, everyone is comfortable with uh, any side. Everyone <laughs> is comfortable. Yeah. We don't have contracts. Palazzo has musicians in his uh, in his uh, good music uh, entertainment. Yeah. You ask him, uh, does he have, have a contract with any of his musicians? It's friendship. You just roll with the vibe. If you're tired, you go and join somewhere <laughs> else. It's not prison. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. It can't backfire? Uh, it doesn't backfire. What backfires with no contract? Where are you going to take me court? Where is your contract? Oh, that's the idea. Yeah. If, you, if okay. you are tired, you go. Another one comes. If it gets tired, you also go. Easy as that. So even you at radio, that's how you're operating? No contract. I don't have a contract. Money you. comes in, you guys see now the two of you. Cha, is like... cha, 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 finito. Hey. Oh, wow. No contract. 
<laughs> You're joking with wow. me. Wow. Okay, recording. Do you guys have split sheets? Yeah. The, the, we get together. Maybe. Yeah, that one works. We uh, YouTube. We mm. have Radio and Weasels. We find a way to split everything. <laughs> This one is it's not complicated. Okay. How much do we have? Five thousand dollars, okay? Now what do we do? Easy as that. Nothing like sign there, sign there. No, no, no. It's rastalivity. <laughs> okay, then who puts money in the production? The artists. We are so with that money that we you are, are the given. Record labels. <laughs> with the finito no you put sponsors. it together. I'm the one who puts money into the video. If I want to go to studio, it's me. If you want to organize a concert, it's me. <laughs> so, this concert you did about a week ago, when the money pulled in, you're the one who sat down and said, okay, mm -hmm. you, you're playing what, okay. Camera, hey everybody, Yeah. bye. Bye, see you at the concert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And it's been working so far. Yeah, it's working. Everyone is good. People are building houses, they have nice cars. Yeah, it's working. We don't want to try the other way. We might fail the other way, so let's stick with the way we know. <laughs> let's stick with what we know. <laughs> Why try? Okay. Why risk the other way? Not to know. <laughs> Basically, what you're telling me is that in music in Uganda is good vibes. Let, let's go with the vibes. It's yeah, most of the studios, it's good vibe. There are um, companies like Swangzer and Ozans, it's contract. Okay. They're very serious. You even put your thumbprint. <laughs> <laughs> but most of studios are it's freestyle. Yeah, freestyle. Good life is freestyle. freestyle. Palazzo's freestyle. record label freestyle. Chameleon freestyle. Contract. He doesn't have. Let's but, roll. But people are happy. Okay. They even have girlfriends and babies. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is rolling. Everything is rolling. Yeah. Okay. Any key advice that you would give to any up-and-coming artist who's looking at you and is like, yo, man, I want to be like Weasel, man. I want to achieve what he's achieved. What should they do, I right? What I can advise is uh, hard work. Yes. If you want to be on top, eh, studio, 24 hours. Okay. Studio should be your bedroom. True. Because if you stop still going to studio, there are other people behind you who want to be in your place. So hard work is number one. Mm -hmm. uh, second is God, of course, without God, you can't make it. You have to pray so hard. Yeah, you have to believe in God. True. And three is uh, you have to be uh, respectful. Because uh, we have uh, musicians who come up and they think they have grown bigger wings than they are. Those other They're musicians that have been there for 20 yeah. hours, uh, they are doing music for uh, just six months and they think they're better than the, uh, the others that have been there for 20 years. So, and they disrespect the pioneers. So that one, uh, you'll get a lot of resistance and it, it won't work out. Uh, it's respect, respect your elders. Yeah, when you speak, when you stick to that, uh, those uh, reasons, I think everything will be, will work out. Respect elders, God, and hard work. Hard work. Yeah. Just keep the consistency yeah, going. Don't, if, if this fails, yeah. if you put out a song and it fails, don't give up. Go back tomorrow and um, do, do another one. Why? One day after maybe two weeks, you get. You can't fail to get one hit. You just keep on working hard in studio. Okay. Everything works out. What should they never do? What you never do is disrespect the media. Yeah, you have to work together with the media because media puts you up, and it's easy for the media to pull you down. Very That's easy. Cool. And they are, they are not here to fight musicians. The, uh, it's just, uh, the, we need to just cooperate and work together because we are doing the same thing, music, it's entertainment. Sure, uh, one sure. thing they should never do is disrespect <coughs> media. Okay. The others, you can disrespect the bouncer, the club, <laughs> you can even kick, you can slap. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah, but the media, you have to work with the media. Okay. Because yeah. when you have a show, who do you run to? The media. The media. Yeah. When you are having, when somebody talks bad about you, I want to clear your name media. to the media. So if you fight them, you'll be fi you'll be fighting all this. Uh, you 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 are so alone. Yeah. So you have never to disrespect media. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
of late, I asked Palazzo this conversation. Let me just throw it your way real quick. Mm. Collaborations between East African nations. Mm. It's really gone down. Not yeah. like when I was a young boy, there was so much. Yeah, I would look so at you guys and they would, this person would do this one. Navio nice, would be with Kenyans and Tanzanians with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowadays, it's a little bit slow. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the communication. Everyone is so busy. Yeah. I think everyone is busy because artists are busy all the time yeah but i think it's communication everyone needs to work with the other i would work want to work with a nameless or red sun any day but we found ourselves uh just so busy i've been uh, having a concert so i've been busy like for the others the past six months yeah so i think it's communication we need to communicate to put to communicate more i okay. think it's the communication it's communication yeah. Alrighty, there you have it from Wizo himself. But I can't let you go. <laughs> yeah, like the song. <laughs> Before I ask you, <laughs> same conversation we had with Palazzo. They were dancing with the big brother in a certain way, but you were here smooching and snogging the big bro. <laughs> and that time by that, remember, I was I was in Kenya and I saw it. And I was like, huh? And I couldn't understand it. Then today you show up, then we are here, we're having the conversation. So also you joseph you had to take me to the bible also <laughs> <laughs> um, i don't find it uh, any problem i love my brothers a lot i don't find any problem with kissing them on the I lips even kiss. yeah, yeah they're my brothers same dna which when i understand you, yeah, when you check this it's the same blood yeah. which means we are the same i don't find it it's like kissing my baby i am the same with my baby yeah, yeah, the same DNA, so it means the same everything. So you guys just kiss, kiss all the time? Yeah, kissing is a, a sign of love. <laughs> yeah. So even when the cameras are not rolling, you meet Jose Camilo. Yeah, yeah. You meet <laughs> anytime, any weather. You meet Palazzo. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing. They are my brothers. Your wife does not have a problem with that? Uh, she doesn't have a problem as long as I don't I, I don't do it to another girl. Oh, yeah. oh, she has a problem if you do it to another girl, but if you do it to your brother, there's no it's, problem. It's okay. Yeah. Why are they saying that you are gay? You can't be gay with your brother. You can't. It's impossible. How is it impossible? It's impossible. With this, it's like me marrying my sister. It's impossible. You can't. Okay, so do you kiss other guys? <laughs> Don't bring problems. I kiss my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no problems. Wait, because Why it's the last to Kenya. <laughs> they throw me out of the house. Stop that. <laughs> no, I had, I had to do the word. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Just checking. Hmm. Okay. So apart from kissing, what else do you do with your brothers? Uh, we go out. We enjoy. Okay. We okay. drink. We <clears throat> talk. We, uh, we do everything that... We do everything. One thing that I have to together. give you and your bro, because mm. I've I've met you and I've seen how you guys interact, mm. that is the way it's supposed to be. Like yeah. the close. I, I see brothers who don't even talk to each other and they don't even hang out. They and I'm like, but it's your bro. Okay, the kissing part, I, have, I ain't kissing yeah. my bro. <laughs> okay, that one will change as time Try goes me, on. man. It's not, oh, you are <laughs> changing or mine. It will change as time goes on the kissing. You are with Akina Palazzo <laughs> or you'll stop the I'll abstain. <laughs> <laughs> but what if they lead into a kiss? You're like, hey, yo. I'm, I'm celibate. <laughs> but me, my brothers, don't try it, bro. Don't, don't try it. <laughs> me, my brothers, we, we, the farthest we go is over here. But I've seen the way you guys are close. Mm. That is good stuff. Keep doing it. You know, when the family is so close, it also teaches other people the values. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah, to. Yeah. It's family strong. comes fast. If you're together, it's strong. Yeah. It's you're stronger, really strong the bond. Together. Then you've done a song with, uh, with your brothers. And also, that's commendable. There are people who are brothers, but they don't even work together. They don't even see so eye to eye. They don't even yeah. see eye to eye. So let's try and uh, work the uh, disagreements. So that's a good thing. Secondly, you've been consistent with your career for a long time and personally it motivated me. I was telling, was it APAS mm. or, or Palazzo? I, been, I did music before comedy, yeah. but people knew me with comedy and I became huge with comedy. When I keep doing music, you guys are like, but we prefer the comedian more. And I'm like, <laughs> but I like music. A month ago, yeah. the first song that I did hit 2 million views within a month. I was shocked. I went to town, I was hugging people, people are taking <laughs> selfies, I'm like, thank you guys, thank you for two million views in one month, it's yeah. never happened before in my life. Because it's like 50,000 views, 100,000 views, mm. my interviews get 
better views than my songs. But now, I've done about 70 music videos. Now is when guys are like, oh my God, wow, we love your music. And I learned that from you guys. Consistency, like I never stopped. You don't, you don't have to Yeah, stop you do a good song, do a fire if video, it put fails, it up. you drop another one. Drop another one, you only drop one. another one. And I'm giving you a flowers because you've been there and I've learned. I've seen even when Weasel, uh, when Radio left and you you just stayed you true. Keep on moving and you on. kept on doing it. Don't stop. Uh, and Palazzo and Chameleon has been there and he'll do a song and he'll be big and then he'll do a couple of other songs and come and do another one. Yeah, and it's the stop. same thing. You don't stop. So thank you for keeping me going without knowing and I appreciate that. Yeah, and for the work that you're doing, also you know you provide a lot of employment because even the concert, all those people, yeah, all they needed people, to eat, yeah. to drink, to dance, their security, the way they dressed, when they came, the transport, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. The whole industry was there because of you. Mm -hmm. So keep doing that, don't stop. And keep being a, a free spirit. Yeah. I love the vibe. <laughs> you call it Rasta style. Rasta style. Rasta, Rasta liberty. Rasta liberty. Yeah. And it keeps happening, so keep doing that. Thank you very much. Anytime, my And brother. thank you for accepting to come to the interview. Even tomorrow, if you're around, yeah, yeah I'll, I'm, I'll be around the same time. You'll be... <laughs> <laughs> I'll the be same waiting place. right here. I'll, I'll wait here. Yeah. Tomorrow. I got you. Say less. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, my G. Blessings, we appreciate uh, to have you on Obina TV. Blessings. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one, inshallah.